Have you just bought a soundbar and want to get it on the wall? In this video, we'll be looking at an easy step-by-step -step method to get it securely attached under your TV. Before we begin, make sure you've positioned the TV exactly where you want it. This will allow us to line up the soundbar with the middle of the screen. Most soundbars come with their own wall mounting kit, which will include brackets, screws, and a guide. If you've lost these at some point, you can either purchase replacements from your manufacturer or get universal ones. I'll leave a few options in the description. The tools that you'll need are a Phillips head screwdriver, stud finder, drill and drill bits, masking tape, and a level. Jib locks and a setting tool may also be required, but we'll get onto that soon. Using your stud finder, scan along the wall below the TV and mark out the available studs with a piece of masking tape. It's unlikely you'll be able to hit both studs, as most soundbars only give you two mounting points. For those of you with children that may want to swing on the soundbar, I'd highly suggest either mounting it to a stud or just sitting it on your cabinet. If that's not an issue for you, then jib locks will do the trick. Just make sure you get ones rated for the weight of your bar. Distance between the TV and soundbar is a personal preference. I like to mount it as close as I can, that way the soundbar blends in with the TV and hides any cables, but you can give it as much space as you'd like. If your soundbar has upward firing speakers, then it's best to leave a gap for the sound to bounce off your roof. For those of you getting value out of this video, please give us a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. If your soundbar doesn't come with a paper guide, then grab a piece of masking tape and place it over the soundbar bracket. Now proceed to mark the holes with a screw or pen. Place two pieces of masking tape on the ends of the guide and line it up with the bottom of the TV. Making sure the guide is centered with the TV, stick the paper to the wall. Grab your level and slowly bring it up to the bottom of the guide until both ends of the level are just touching the paper. Now you can adjust the paper by unsticking one side and moving it millimeters at a time. Keep doing this until it's level. Before making any holes, make sure the guide is still below the bottom of the TV. Drill a pilot hole with a three millimeter drill bit to check for a stud. If you find wood, then proceed with screwing the bracket to the wall. If not, this is when jib locks come in handy. Drill out a hole that's the same size as your jib lock. In my case, it's 10 millimeters. Push the jib lock into place and fasten it with a setting tool. This will spread it out inside the wall and give you a strong anchor to hang the soundbar on. If you've planned for there to be no gap between the TV and soundbar, then you may find it easier to take the TV off its bracket to mount the soundbar. That's what I've done for this install, as I needed more room to lift the bar onto its brackets. Plug all your HDMI and power cables in before you hang the bar. Try and have them sitting over the front so they don't get tangled when installing. And now we're ready to bring it all together. Place the bar onto the wall and secure the bracket if required. Reinstall the TV and plug all the cables in. Pull the excess cable up behind the TV and cable tie them so they don't fall down. To finish off, level and align both the TV and soundbar. Now you're done. You can turn the system on and get to setting it up. With that, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. I'd also like to know from you, which soundbar do you have? If by any chance you haven't wall mounted your TV yet, then here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. That's all from me, see you guys soon.